This is just a bad person doing bad things that we really want to get caught. A security camera mounted outside a Canby area home captured something unusual Tuesday night. A prowler on the property that sits along South Good Lane. Anything that can capture that sort of stuff does nothing but help. Sergeant Brian Jensen says the homeowners weren't home at the time, but their security system alerted them to the suspicious activity. So they notified a neighbor who raced over to the house. A neighbor came over, noticed that the door had been kicked in. Uh, he entered the residence. Uh, once he was inside, uh, he was able, he was confronted by a, an unknown person. That's when the situation took a turn. The suspect, Jensen says, pepper sprayed the neighbor who in turn pulled out a gun. As the suspect is leaving the residence, the neighbor then uh, fired what he called a warning shot uh, to scare off the suspect, which it helped. The bad guy jumped into a getaway vehicle, but he wasn't empty handed. Authorities say he had stolen a gun medication and jewelry with sentimental value. Anytime weapons are involved, things can go a million different directions. Um, we're glad that nobody was seriously hurt or injured. The victims worked with detectives to come up with this sketch of the suspect. Take a good look at him. He's about six feet tall, between 200 and 215 pounds, and he has what's described as scraggly facial hair. Uh, this is a guy that we need off the street fast. Now, the SUV the guy drove off in is believed to be a late 90s red Ford Explorer with tan trim. There may even be a sticker in the bottom center of the back window. Anyone with information about the case should contact the Clackamas County Sheriff's Office. Kathy, back to you.